because Danny did what Danny does best. Danny tore up the store today. Absolute chaos, and I'm gonna share that chaos with you. Oh, what do my wondering eyes does appear? A turtle. Oh, I don't know if I'm a fan of this piece here. Oh, has anybody lost their marbles? <gasps> What's happening over here? Has been a day at the Good Stuff Thrift Store. We've got Brenda. Say hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Hi. <laughs> Brenda volunteered all day long because Danny did what Danny you. does best. Danny tore up the store today. It was, it was, it was, it was a tornado or hurricane, Danny, through here today. It was a little bit of both. A little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a, it was a hernado. Or a Danito. Or a Danito <laughs> was one of those. Anyway, yeah, I bought a bunch of new display units that needed to be put into the store. So it caused absolute chaos. And I'm going to share that chaos with you. All right. Well, uh, we have a whatnot sale to do on Monday, which means we have to pick out some goodies to put into that sale and also give you an opportunity to pick out some things that you would like me to put in that sale. So that is what today's video is all about. You get to shop the shelves. Tell me what you want to see in my Monday whatnot sale. And I will put some goodies that I think are good choices into my lucky cart. Oh, let's see. Let's go for lucky cart number three. Oh, real quick, before I get into the main part of the store, Crystal was in here redoing her booth today. And as usual, we will get to sell a piece of her fabulous Pyrex jewelry. Yes, indeed. Um, she lets me come in here, pick any piece that I want for the sale. So what I do is I let you guys choose. So it's going to be like buyer's choice, any piece of jewelry in here. Ooh, did she just bring those in? Those are fabulous. No, it looks like they've been here a little while. Oh my gosh, those are gorgeous. McKee, uranium. Mm, mm, mm. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, another thing that's going to happen. On our grand opening celebration, which is happening next Saturday, the 25th. I cannot believe it's just a week away. <sighs> anyway, what's going to happen is all of my vendors are going to be here in their booths, talking to people, meeting people. And more importantly, we're going to do some little impromptu auctions. I haven't quite figured out how it's going to work yet, but it's going to work. So you are going to want to be with us at least in the morning, 10 to 12 uh, Pacific time. Uh, we're going to be live streaming and we're just going to be doing some crazy stuff, including probably doing some impromptu selling something out of these rooms because the vendors are going to be here to be able to make that happen. All right, let's let's look what else she put in here. I am so in love with this set of Pyrex. Look at that. Oh, wow. Six pieces, three dishes, three lids in what's the pattern? We don't know what the pattern is. You guys probably know what the pattern is. She's asking $199.99 for that set. And then this is the pink gooseberry. So she's got, these are all being sold in separate pieces. Those are just fabulous. I'm not a huge like Pyrex person, but I like the pink. I, oh, look, she's got the bowls here too. I like the pink. Look at these flamingos. <gasps> look at those. Oh my gosh, she's only asking $9.99 on those. Are you kidding me right now? I have a feeling those are gonna go quick. All right, what else did she bring in? Pineapples, lots of pineapples. Those are pretty fab. There is the Treasure Craft Pineapple, Treasure Craft little ashtray. Oh my gosh, she wiped out all of her little stuff that was in this cabinet. That's fantastic. Looks like some mid-century pottery. Oh, those toucans. Look at those toucans. Because toucans are better than one cans. Yes, you came here for the cheese. Don't tell me you didn't. 
more flamingos. Anyway, Crystal's room is just absolutely amazing. If you visit the store, you must come into her room and shop around. And let me just give you a little, a little look-see. This is the fabulous Crystal Van Ho. You can find her on Etsy, Instagram, and Facebook. All right, here's our incoming shelves. This little piece is drawing my attention. It's a green Sunday dish. Is it green or is it a blue? It's kind of a blue green, huh? I like it. I think we're gonna put that into the sale. These little guys came in the other day and I'm not exactly sure how they're meant to be used, but they hang. Do you put a candle in there? Is that what it is? We have two. I don't know where the other one ended up. The other one's a different color. I don't know where the other one ended up. We're gonna run into it. It's here somewhere. Or maybe it's old, who knows? But I don't know if anybody knows, is it a candle holder that kind of just hangs? I don't know. This is a great little canister. Uh, you can see it probably came from, I don't know whose tag that is under there. We got it for $2.99. It's kind of a cool little canister. I don't know. I feel like you guys might like that. I'll put that in the sale. Oh, what do my wondering eyes does appear? A turtle! Well, I guess I'm kind of a turtle mom now. I'm not just a tortoise mom. I am a turtle mom, too. Uh, this is a Pier 1. It is melamine. 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 And it does have this little, little kind of a little scratch on it. But you know what? It's a turtle. It's fabulous. We'll put that in the sale. All right. You can see we've brought out a lot of our green items because, well, the next holiday is St. Patrick's Day. Indeed, indeed. That's a pretty little vase. Is that on the inside? I'm trying to see if it's flashed. I think it... I can't actually tell if that's schmooge or if that's scratches. It is etched. It's kind of pretty. Oh, it's got a name on it. It's got a name. Oh, it's a Relpo. So super vintage. All right, that goes in the sale too. Now, if I happen to pass something that you would really like me to sell in the sale, go ahead and give me a shout in the comments. I look at those comments. I pull more things to put into the sale based on what you guys ask for. Oh yeah, I found another one of these. Uh, I sold two of these last week and you guys loved them. So this one's going in the sale this week too. Of course, after St. Patrick's Day, then we have to get ready for Easter. I do, I do like bunny season. I'm not going to lie. I like the, uh, the whole bunny decorating, sweet spring, everything's getting warmer time of year. Yes, yes. These look like Rose Point. I am pretty sure that's the Rose Point pattern. Cambridge. Awesome pattern of elegant glass. Now, elegant glass is depression glass, but it's they call it elegant glass. It was a little step up from some of the mass marketed kind of colored pieces of glass that were being manufactured. Uh, and this is a really, really popular pattern to this day. Look at that stem. It's so detailed. So I think we'll go ahead and put those in the sale this week also. Since it snowed this week, we're really trying to encourage spring. We're telling spring, it's time. We got the flowers out. Let's go. Bring us some flowers and uh, warmth. Because <laughs> we're tired of the cold. Oh, my! I know my tortoises are tired of the cold. This is a really pretty uh, princess, how, or princess. Pioneer woman. Pioneer woman. And it smells. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I, I would still ship this. It's still cold enough. I could get that shipped. Is that... Oh, it's plastic. It's not even melamine. It's just a big plastic flower. It's kind of fun. Oh, I don't know if I'm a fan of this piece. Do I uh, see some eye rolling going on over here at my cheesy jokes? No, <laughs> you don't even want to know what we're talking about. Oh, you, you know, eyelashes really make eye rolls much more pronounced. Yes, they do. <laughs> All right, we got some of our little primitives in here. This is cute. I didn't even see this piece come in. Look at this little egg basket. It's kind of in the shape of a chicken, yeah? yeah I think it's, it's a chicken. It's a chicken? Yeah. It's a chicken. Let's run that in the sale. He's kind of fun. 
This is a really cool spatterware piece. I don't know who makes it. Look at this glaze. It's kind of amazing, actually. It's been here a while, too, which amazes me that nobody has snagged this piece because it is so... I don't know if it's antique, but it's getting there if it's not already. This is an old, old piece of pottery, a yellow ware, and I think we're going to put that one in the sale. All right, we got some fun stuff in here. Oh, has anybody lost their marbles? Yes. Because I think I, well, there's there's only like five in here though. So oh, I love I, if you I lost love them, them, they're like, they're someplace else. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's crazy around here. Then we have our fabulous glass going here oh look at the little daisy and button canoe oh and it holds a little candle in the middle oh that's kind of fab let's see i'm checking it and see does it have any issues it doesn't have any issues all right that's going in the sale too oh my gosh i haven't been over in this little glass section for a while look at this lovely little piece here i always look i'm looking at the tags because i want to see how long it's been here i want to make sure it's had a chance to sell to our local clientele that comes into the store and if it has then it's game on for whatnot and you guys get to score now it does have a little tiny bit of damage here on the back but honestly that really doesn't detract from its awesomeness Cranberry, it's probably made by like one of the companies like Rainbow or Kanawa. I don't know. I might I might do a little peek see and see if I can figure out which company made this, but it's of that era and it's of that quality, and we're gonna sell it. All right, lots of spectacular glass. Again, I'm not gonna go through each piece, but if you see something that you really have to have to say, hey Danny, that piece that was in the black display case let's see I'll, I'll do a i'll pan back so you can see was it on the left or the right that's how you can tell me and then which shelf it was on and then we'll try to narrow it down to that piece that you wanted i do see another piece though i do want to run in the sale it's this really awesome eapg nappy and uh it's i don't know if it's meant to be like an open sugar I'm kind of leaning toward it being that, but it's a really nice pattern and uh, it deserves to have some love. So we're gonna put that in the sale too. I did promise last week that I was gonna run the cast iron crosses this week. So I have two of them. They're probably gonna go, well, I don't know. Are they the same size? Let's see. If they're exactly the same, yeah. I'm probably gonna put these in the buy it now section of my whatnot sale so you can just grab them oh here's our table of goodies i can't believe this piece is still here look at the graphics on this it is a dog watching over a baby in a little wicker cradle it's amazing it does have a little crack but it's not like you're gonna use it for a soup bowl or anything it's purely decorative and it needs to be rescued so that's this is going in the sale and we have our beautiful cases filled with we put our like stuff we don't want to get destroyed in the back so we have all these remote control cars up here right now i don't know some kind of a video dvd player kind of a thing but a voodoo a voodoo voodoo who do you think you're fooling oh no that was totally the wrong lyrics but you know that's the song that came to my head uh this would be 60% off right now. So that would make this thing like 12 or $13 if you're local and you want to come in and get it. Resellers, this thing I'm sure has some resale value. Come and get it. Yes, I think almost, I think it's safe to say all of our blue tags are now 60% off. Yes. I think they are. I think they are. Then we have ducks. Lord love a duck. This one's got a Google eye. Look at that. Now, you may recognize these ducks uh, because these were donated by Betsy from one of her estate sales because she runs Neon, Neon Moon, Moon Estate Sales. Estate sales. Uh, so look them up if you're in the Vegas area and uh, be ready to shop, shop, shop because she gets good stuff. 
microscope. Kind of cool. All right, let's look over here because we got all of these mugs and it la I wouldn't run them last week because they had just come in. I, I actually, I did. I sold one. I sold one last week. Uh, so we have Cup of Sunshine, Assistant, AKA Miracle Worker, The Big 70, Cup of Love. That one looks firefighter themed. That one looks policeman themed. Cup of Courage, Doctor, Cup of Nope. <laughs> And the big 60. These are all brand spanking new from the Our Name is Mud Company. Oh, yes. And we have a teacher mug, too. I'm happy to run any of those. Anybody would like me to, just let me know in the comments of this video. I can make that happen. And then these are also all Our Name is Mud pieces. All brand new. They came from World Market and got donated here. Um, they were samples in the... Uh, our World Market Center is like a what do you call it? It's uh, like a trade show kind of a thing, I guess, where, where um, wholesalers show the products that they have and then people order based on looking at the samples. So that's where all this stuff came from, which is really cool. We have a Lang, Lang, Langy, Lange, 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 however you say that. It's a curling set, okay? <laughs> don't judge me don't judge me for my lack of being able to say things <gasps> what's happening over here this is what I was saying I am in the process of moving the kids the, it has always bothered me to have the kids section right as you walk in the door it just wasn't the right spot for kids stuff so it's being moved out I'll show you where it's gone in a second and then we're going to move more of our boutique brands better clothing and shoes and things into this section but enough of that for now here is another rack of goodies oh how about a cobalt blue now this it's not a vase it's actually a dessert cup but it could be used as a vase. I mean, you could use it for whatever you want. And it is that beautiful cobalt blue. So I think we'll run that item. Oh, and I don't know how many more days this is gonna be here because we need the space, but at least Tuesday, maybe into Wednesday, 75% off anything on this table. And there's some really cute stuff on this table. This little love plate. But I'm also happy to run any of this stuff. So if you see something on here you would like me to run in the whatnot sale, very happy to do it. Look at that little Paul Masson heart bottle. So there's some fun stuff. There's some fun stuff here. So just let me know. All right, let me go back over here. I had to go fetch my cart that I left sitting over there so that I could put more goodies in it. <gasps> this little guy caught my eye. Look at him. He's that flocked. I think he's um a Bradley. I think that's the name of the company that makes these. How cute is he? Super vintage, super cu cute. <laughs> I was gonna say cool. Cool and cute tried to come out together. That's what happened there. All right, we're putting him in the cart. This is a really, really pretty creamer and sugar. Noritake, yes indeed, it says contemporary Noritake Blue Hill, really pretty pattern, super pretty pattern, I would be willing to run this one, let me know down in the comments if this is a piece you would like me to run, I'll add it, I'm not going to put it in the cart right now, but if I get comments saying run it, I will run it. All right, I see another really cute little canister, and since I'm running that other one, it says made for retail geo canister i'm sure that's what the other one says too so you know what look at that nice nice little can i love these you know for just well around my house it's usually some kind of a pet treat now it's turtle <laughs> gotta have turtle treats tortoise birds guinea pigs we use these in all kinds of places in our house so did i show it yes adding that one too I really like this set of canisters too. Really, really like this set of canisters. They're not marked. Can you see like the, almost a confetti speckly kind of thing going there? Those are pretty amazing. I could run those. I could totally do it. They're a little on the heavy side, just note that. Uh, but I would 
really be willing to run those because they're uh, they're 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 amazing. I would do it. Just let me know in the comments. Another thing that happened this week is we expanded the baggy wall. I just have to get more hooks. I'm out of hooks. Uh, but we came over another whole section. We moved that sign over because who doesn't love shopping from a baggy wall? So we got all our baggies over here. And then we have our sea life kind of section going here. See if there's anything exciting that must go in the cart for this sale. Kind of drawn to the dolphin sun catcher with this there, making sure his chain is complete. Look at that. Yeah, we'll put you in the sale. Do you see anything else exciting? Just let me know. Happy to add it. All right, we have the brown section here. Oh my goodness, it's a very brown section. I see some cute things. I see some things we'll look closer at. I'm kind of going down to the bottom and I see this soap dish that is made out of beautiful granite. I do believe this is a granite. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think it's marble, but that is amazing. Look at that beauty. We'll run that. I also wanted to look at this piece of pottery. It looks really nicely done and it is signed X I see X U R O X U N O something. Maybe you see something else. Let me know if I have it totally wrong. Maybe it's P. Maybe it's P E N O. I don't know, but look at you can see the coils inside. This is a really nice piece of pottery. We're going to run this in the sale. I see the duck. I see the duck. I see the duck quacking, saying, uh, I want to go in your sale. So, okay, duck, you can go too. I know, I see that too. Now, as I remember, one of these, maybe we glued, oh, no, see the, the little acre or walnut is, is loose on this piece. I could run it. Let me know if you want me to. It's a little, it's got, I mean, his little ears got a little chippy. It's super adorable though, but I, I would be willing. I would be willing. Just let me know. What is this? What is this piece of pottery? This looks like a student piece. I'm trying to see the date on there. Looks like 83. It's kind of a fun piece, but it is cracked down this side. Probably because it's a student piece, when they were doing the drying of it, putting it in the kiln, they didn't get it quite right. So it cracked in the process. That's what it looks like to me. So you may be wondering why I would pull this really good stuff off of my shelves here at the store and then offer it on whatnot. Well, the reason is that I am working with five different nonprofits. They're responsible for bringing all this stuff into the store. And so when I sell the things on whatnot, it supports them. We've been a little slow here this month. Uh, so this is a way that I can make sure that the nonprofits are making enough out of the stuff that they are bringing in. So whatnot is an amazing way for me to sell the items and give back more to the nonprofits than they would get by just counting on the traffic that comes in the door to buy the stuff. So that is why I do the whatnot. And then this is an amazing piece. I don't know if this is silver. I don't think this is silver. I think it's silver plate. Let's uh, take a peek. It looks like quad plate. In fact, look, it's, um, I think this is Art Nouveau. Pretty sure this is Art Nouveau. Pear Point, Pear Point Manufacturing Company quadruple plate. Yes, it is a quadruple plate. I'm not exactly sure what its original purpose is. It's got birds on it. A little serving fork kind of a thing would have gone right here. I will run this in the sale because this is pretty fantastic. And then next to it, this I was drawn to as well. Okay, this lotus flower triple candle holder. It also has a mark, but let's see if I can make that out. We've got some tape under there that's making it a little hard to see. Mm, less Leonard. Leonard silver plate. This Leonard silver plate. Beautiful candle holder. We'll sell that too. 
All right, you know, I have the other piece of daisy and button, the little canoe. How about I sell the little glass fan also? So some of the shelves are gonna look a little bare because we have been, I'll, I'll take you over there in a moment and show you what's happening on that side. But we've been totally rearranging the store. I mean, like totally rearranging. These poor little kids, ah, oh, they're so well done. And it breaks my heart that, look, she's been beheaded. Unfortunately, they're not marked. They're a bisque porcelain. He's missing a hand. I mean, if somebody wants to rescue these, I'd be happy to run them in the sale. Just let me know in the comments. But look at the faces. They're done really super well. Poor little peoples. All right, let's see. Oh, the piggy bank. I got asked to run this last weekend and I put it in the buy now section. So this week I'll just run it in the regular part of the sale. Look at this guy. Kind of makes me think it's a hobbyist piece, but it's not. Chase, Japan. That's pretty old. It's got some interesting little issues, I would say, but it looks like they're from manufacturing, except this is a crack, unfortunately. But you know what? That is a really super cool old piece. We'll go ahead and run that. All right, a little toucan still here, and uh, Rachel still refuses to come down. So she does not get the toucan until she gets down here and works and finds it herself. I'm just saying. Some more dishware. This is a piece of Fenton. This is Fenton hobnail in the cornucopia. Uh-oh. Is there a, is there a sticker under our sticker under there? Oh, on the other side? It looks like it. I know. Darn Let's it, people. Save it. I know. We try, we try, guys. We do. We uh, we have a lot of volunteers. Yeah, go ahead and you can take it because we're gonna run that in the sale. Here, you know, let me show it. Okay. When she gets it, well, I'll show you. Uh, but we are gonna run that in the sale. It's kind of almost a uh, jack in the pulpit shaped cornucopia. It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, crisis averted. It was an old piece of a Goodwill sticker that we were just covering up. So, whew, good, good. No one's getting in trouble no today. No one's getting in trouble today. <laughs> All right, we're running that. Are those unicorns? Yeah. They're unicorn mugs. Well, those are kind of fabulous. And there's a pair of them. I will run those. Okay, I forget. I got corrected that these weren't wheat, that they're something else. And I was all ready to tell you what they were. And then it slipped my brain again. I don't, I don't remember, um, but we like to call them plant puffs. I still like them. I think they're really awesome, <laughs> but I don't know if anybody else thinks they're really awesome. I don't know if anybody else is as crazy and wacky as me, but I know you guys will like the horse head hanger thingamajig. We've got only the dogs left. So the cat people ruled this week and the cats are gone. So all we have left is the little black and white doggies. Look at that. And what do you call these? You call these, um, um, there's a word for this hand. And I forget what it is. I forget what it is. It starts with an H. I know that. I know that. All right. Some more silver stuff. I don't see anything else here floating my boat, but it might float yours. So just let me know. Yeah, we got our little blue end cap here. I've been pulling some stuff off of it, and we had a really busy day, too, today. But look, look what I did. I totally moved stuff around so that we could display some of our art a little better here, our more decorative stuff. I'll take you around to the other side in just a minute to show you what we did there. I lost a little bit of space, but it's still wide enough to get a wheelchair through, which is what is important. And I think somebody was asking last week for me to run these, and I wasn't ready to run it because it had just come in. But you know what? It's been here a week. We're going to run it. All right. These shelves, I'm coming in tomorrow to completely redo all of these because you'll see I've already been pulling stuff out, moving it to other sections, getting things much more organized in here. Oh, this is a piece of customer actually had in their hand today and it, I guess it's a wine holder look at it's got this beaded kind of applique work on it which is 
kind of amazing. So you know what? Let's put that in the sale. All right, so by next week when I do this little tour, these are going to look totally different uh, because I'm, we're closed now for the next two days. I will put this in the buy now section. I had it there last week. I had some people interested in it. Uh, but nobody grabbed it out of the buy now section. So it's going back in there and it is up for grabs now. Just so you know, it does have a corner chipped off of it. But it's still an amazing, amazing piece from, uh, it's probably from Bethlehem. This is olive wood. These are all stones uh, that come from Jerusalem, Israel. I know, I, my geography is, is weak right now, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and more goody section. I've got a Jim Shore Angel who has now been here for a week. She's pretty amazing. Fourth of July will be here before we know it. So if you want me to run her, leave me a note in the comment. I will be happy to do so. All right, let's keep going. I'm still, I'm feeling bad for the baby cow that's not getting any love here. This poor little guy, this will probably be the last week that I, uh, you know what? I'm probably going to, I'm going to find a way to get him sold on our grand opening day. That's what I'm going to do because that poor little baby cow needs some love. All right. This is our crafty section here. That's also going to get redone tomorrow to make it much easier to shop and see what's here. Like, what is that? Oh, our Taj Decoupage Kit, Volume 3. Why do you have different volumes? Because of the scene inside? There's Volume 2 and Volume 3. I would like it if it had those little mushrooms. It probably doesn't, though. They're teasing us with that. Yeah, this is my next section to conquer is like, I just don't like how cluttery this looks. So I will be, I need, oh, I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute what I did in the middle. Don't want to jump ahead too fast. I will show you. But um, yeah, and then I just, I didn't quite get to finish. I'm doing my kind of my bougie kitchen area here. We have some amazing uh, Nespresso's and Keurig's and this really, really expensive uh, bread maker by... Zojirushi? Go ahead. Look up and see what those babies sell for. Uh, we've got this Nesco roast air oven. This is now 60% off. This is 20 bucks now. 20 bucks! So it's at, it's at re reseller price now. This is at 20 bucks. This, I don't know what the price is, but I bet you that one's cheap right now too. Because that's what we do around here. Alright, these are my new displays. I'm super happy with these. So we've got all of our pet goods over here now. And I got two of these cute little, they call them uh, dump bins. I don't know who came up with that name, but we have, oops, that doesn't go there. We have all of our doggy clothing in here. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have some of the most adorable doggy stuff. Oh, we got these, all these football cheerleader, uh, Oh, that's got a bad name on it. Oh, no, it's a female dog. It's just a female dog. <laughs> but look, it, it, boy dogs, girl dogs, harnesses. Look at all of this goodness in here. I could put some of this in the buy now section. <gasps> I could totally put some cute little doggy outfits in the buy now section of the whatnot. You know, we'll, we'll pick out some cute ones and we'll have them in there for you this week. So yeah, this is still getting loaded up. And then we moved all of our glassware to the middle here because when you're looking for a set of glasses to buy, you don't wanna look all over the store. You wanna go and see what your selection is, right? If you could just confirm that for me. So I made the right decision. Uh, but all of our glasses, except for the super elegant ones that are gonna move up to that black display in the front are right here now. And then I've got all of my corningware here together and some cooking type stuff. And this is still a work in progress too, but I am, I am loving how this looks. Look, Rebecca is picking out some cute little doggy stuff to load up the buy now section with. The Boots and Barkley. Yeah, there's, these are really, they're all brand new. Mm -hmm. These are all brand new. 
They've yeah. never been. I'm just, I'm in, oh my gosh, look at that. I know, it's cute. They're so cute. All right, so this is where um, the tornado has not completely passed through yet. I think we're kind of in the eye of the Danny Kane, and <laughs> it's still a work in progress. But I got these two new racks. So here's the story. I actually was putting gondola shelving here to complete kind of this section. But what happened was I had um, some guys pick up the gondola shelving and he says, you know, that's a 24 foot section of gondola shelving, right? I'm like, no, 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 no. It's sections. It's four foot sections, right? No, no. It all needs to go together. It is sections, but it's all meant to go together. So we have now moved the kids stuff here because this is the only place we could find big enough to put the gondola shelving and that meant i had to come up with a new idea for that other section over there so that is why i got these pieces here and uh and then i've moved all my plastic stuff over here all my cookware is over here with a couple things that i just can't find another spot for yet i'm still still trying to figure out what to do with that uh, more kitchen appliances here. We still have our camping stuff up top here just because trying to figure out other places to go is not super easy. Oh yeah, I got this unit over here as well uh, to replace all of the loose stuff we had. I just think it, it just makes it look so much better to have it like on an actual rack, kind of contained, organized. Uh, so we did that today too. And so now, oh yeah, I moved uh, men's t-shirts over here. So now we've got some rearranging to do. We still got to get our shoes up, kind of up, up like this, like Goodwill does it, looking for the right thing. And then I have to do a little math and figure out, Brenda was kind of helping us work on it today and um, used like some foam board and, and that would work in a pinch. But I think if I get that plastic corrugated stuff, I can just make one little pyramid and it's gonna work and then we have to do that for all of the shoe racks on both sides so we got to do that this week uh we've got to <laughs> we got to finish up all those areas that we had over there we've got to figure out where all these clothing racks are now getting put we got to get that section done and um we're gonna be we're gonna be busy this week gonna be busy got some mannequins changed she's not she's still ready for skiing she's ready for spring she's ready for spring over here and she's she's ready to go to a concert she's ready to go to uh pink floyd yeah yeah she is i forget what we named her i can't remember what we named her we gave her a name and I, i'm sorry i'm sorry honey i forget your name i'm really really bad with names but if you tell me i'll never forget it again trust me i'll give you a little peek inside the rooms this is mikey and sunny's room i know they've got big plans in here they have been on whatnot like crazy so go find sunny las vegas and mikey bags of money because they're doing whatnot sales all the time now <gasps> lenticular jesus that's really cool look at that that's actually really awesome i love it and I love that Jesus watches over the room. Oh, next to our head of security, Doreen. Carrie spent the last two days redoing her room. Look at this. Wowza, what a difference a day makes. I bequeathed one of my cubbies to her to fill in some space. And I like what I'm seeing here. Now you can really see all the awesome glass and pottery that she has in the showcase. She's got some cute little stuff over there. She's got clothes. Jordan has some clothes in here with Carrie as well. And uh, of course, she has her salt and peppers, which, you know what? Grand opening day. I'm sure we're going to come in here and sell a couple of things at Carrie's when we do our uh, pop-up whatnot sales. Yeah, we still have our fabulous wall of art we have been selling some art which is really fun and come over this way art art 
more art. Oh, we have raffle baskets. I will tell you more about those soon. Uh, you will have an opportunity to also purchase tickets for the raffles that are going to happen. They're big, beautiful baskets. All of the proceeds is going to the nonprofits who are making the baskets and providing all the stuff in them. So that's going to be another fun thing happening this week. The Conlins get back this week. They have been gone um, filming the Santa Barbara Film Festival. And so they are going to be restocking their room this week, I am sure. But there's some pretty amazing stuff in here, even with them being gone. I highly, highly recommend you come check out their room if you come by and uh, watch for new stuff going in. And, of course, Tiffany's room. She came in here and did a little revamping and slashed some more prices on things. So, ooh, dolphins. Ooh, I kind of like that. And you know what? Rachel's birthday is coming. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I might, I might actually have to buy that one. I like it. All right. So I will get Tiffany to sell one or two things on grand opening day as well. So as of the time that this comes out, I will have new auctions running on eBay as well. And then I am doing a Sunday night whatnot sale and I'm doing my Monday Shop the Shelves sale, which all of these items will be in. So please come bookmark me over on Whatnot. Look at the first comment of this video and you will see the links that you need to get there. And uh, now I am gonna put all of these goodies onto my Danny shelf right here and get them all ready to sell on Whatnot. You go be profitable and make it fun. Make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.